Okay, in this video I'm going to remind you how to use the numerical solve tool on your non-CAS Inspire calculator. So this is going to be done in a calculator page, so I'm going to add a new document and add a calculator page. So if you're trying to get the calculator to solve an equation for you, you can't just go in and type the equation, you know, 3x equals 9. It's not going to solve that if you just hit enter. It's going to give you some sort of variable error. Uh, however, you can, if you go to the menu, select from the algebra menu numerical solve. And it'll say n solve and give you an empty set of parentheses. Now in here I can type in an equation, after which I must put comma x or whatever variable it is that you're trying to get the calculator to solve for. And then you hit enter and it will solve the equation for you. Now we should only be using this tool if there's a one solution equation. So if you're certain that there's only one solution. Because if there are multiple solutions, it's still going to calculate something for you, but it's only going to give you, I believe, the lowest solution. Um, and so you might not notice that there are other solutions uh, if you're going to use the nSolve tool. So only use it if you're sure there's one solution. I find it's the most useful on exams for exponential equations. So if it's something like um, 2 to the x power equals 7, these always have only one solution. Uh, so it's a safe bet if you're trying to solve an exponential that you can use nSolve. Uh, the way to show it analytically would be to use uh, logarithms. And if I was trying to show work or give an exact solution, that's what I'd do. But if I'm looking for a decimal approximation, I can use the nSolve tool. As long as you put comma x, it's going to solve for the decimal value of what that exponent must be. Uh, so that's when it's the most useful on exams, if it's a calculator part of the exam. Note that if you do try to use it for, like, let's say, a quadratic equation where I know there are multiple solutions, it's only going to give you one of them. So just to demonstrate that, here's a quadratic that I know has two solutions, but it's only going to give me one answer, and it's not going to tell me that there's another one. So you want to be thoughtful before you go to use this tool to make sure you know you're looking for only one value of x and that there is only one value of x. And that is all. Is all.